What's going on, my friend? Welcome back to another ladder battle. I've been doing this daily series for quite some time. I'm really enjoying it. Getting to see a lot of different players. I hope you guys are having a blast as well. But we've got Shine down here in the bottom left today with Scan here in the top left. It's a bit of a series that I've put together here. So let's jump into it. I first off just want to say that my expectation for this little series is we're probably going to see Scan get smushed. I just feel like Shine is right at the top of his game. By the way, these games were played almost back to back on the ladder. Very near to each other. Right here in... March of 2024. So I expect to see that Shine is on at the very tippy top of his game. And he is in the ASL right now. At least he made it in. So, I mean, he's got to be practicing very, very hard right now. Aiming for the top. No other, no point in playing if you're not going to aim for the top. If you're not going to shoot for the stars here. So, I imagine that's what we'll see from Shine, his absolute best play here. And what are we going to see out of Scan? I'm curious what he's going to pull out against Shine. Now, he doesn't know that it is Shine. There's been no chatter back and forth for these two guys. You know, we're here on the barcode. So Sh Shine, you know, playing some ladder games, just practicing up a little bit. Maybe testing out some builds, that kind of thing. He doesn't want to be revealed to his opponents. He doesn't want his opponents knowing his play style or, you know, getting a download on him here. He's just practicing on a barcode. So a lot of pro players do enjoy doing that. They do like to do that, especially during ASL season. I'm sure that you can find out who he is if by just downloading the replay and you know copy pasting his uh barcode here into seawall.gg you can figure it out but maybe you know shine doesn't do that maybe he just moves on from this game and he doesn't find out who this actually is or maybe scan doesn't do that excuse me then i'm not sure if shine knows this um <laughs> this toss girl uh reference here is actually scan a little bit funny that he's playing on that bar or on that uh name here but he's going to be sending a couple of marines across the map and we've just had a very regular opener here from shine nothing out of the ordinary at all whatsoever he's popping out four lings exactly the correct number when you see this type of two marine push across the map if there's like four marines you might need six lings but with just two moving across the map Four is going to be more than enough. And he even picks off the SCV here. That was a pretty quick pick on that SCV. Not doing a great job of actually keeping that alive, unfortunately. You'd really like to keep that SCV alive a little bit longer here as Scan. At least long enough to see if it's going to be a Spire or not. It'll help you to slow down on building the Comsats here. You can uh, rest on that for a little bit. Keep your SCV production high while you're going towards the next phase of this game. And he hasn't sent out another SCV on the map either. So being a little bit conservative with his SCVs, a little bit risky here. Scan going to build a bunker though to try and keep himself safe right now. He might build a supply depot here as well, and he will. Does make it pretty darn safe now with the bunker and the uh, supply depot. You can put your marines right in between there and it makes it very hard to crack in with any sort of ling play. And that's not actually what we're going to see out of Shine. In fact, he's going to throw down his 2.5 hatch. The, the third hatch here actually over at the bottom center. Now, if you guys don't know what the 2.5 hatch is, well, the uh, other two builds, the 2 hatch and the 3 hatch were developed earlier than this build. This is kind of a newer build. So the two hatch is where you go uh, directly into two hatch. Uh, obviously from like a 12 hatchery or something like that. 
uh, and then you get into your gas and the three hatch is you don't build gas and you get your third hatch and then you build gas and the 2.5 hatch is kind of a mixture in between you get the uh second hatch you build your gas then you get the third hatch then you get the spire so uh and there is even other build there it, there are slight variations to this where you actually get the spire first and then you get the the other the hatch there's there's a whole bunch of different variations to the 2.5 hatch but just know that this is the 2.5 hatch and instead of putting the hatchery in the main he's gonna put it over here at the bottom at six o'clock it's a little bit strange it's a little bit different than what we usually see but it's probably indicating to us that he either wants to do something like a mutilus skull in something like that something that is gonna just take those three gases really fast and try to put on a lot of pressure or potentially he might want to go into like a hydralis defiler play uh, it's probably not going to be, you know, the 2.5 hatch, the standard 2.5 hatch uh, into, you know, Lurker uh, with a high ground base into a fourth base into Ultra. That's probably not where we're going to be taking this game. And on the other side of the map, we've got the four racks play here from Scan. This gives Scan a lot of pressure on the map once he gets up and operational. That means he's going to have to wait for his uh, range and plus one here, which will be coming up here soon. He's going to be able to move out pretty strongly in another couple of moments. Eight mutas. Pretty badly bruised at this point. Fighting with some of these turrets here. Has opened up the position a little bit. Picked off a couple of SCVs here and there. But he still does need to produce a lot of mutas to start to fend off this marine medic push out that we're seeing from Scan. Scan going to have a lot of pressure here moving forward. You have to address this marine medic ball you cannot just allow the marine medic ball uh to push across the map kind of uh, unfettered here we need to start to pressure that and he is doing a good job of waiting for the stim to run out there he was waiting back and forth back and forth waiting for the stim to run out he wants to force as many stims as possible we've only got three medics here and as you can see that energy is not unlimited the more stims we can force out the harder it's going to be to bust in it's the harder it's going to be to fight something like a mutilus group he's just going to dive right on top of this this seems a little bit too aggressive here and look at this gutting down so many mutilus right now this is crazy he's going to get even one more i think we had a total of like 10 mutas there and he's not even going to get all the medics he got one medic look the medics are actually out of energy now that fight leaving them completely dry he needs to wait for a couple of more medics to pop out here and escort them to the marine medic group otherwise he's going to be in trouble what is he going to do with these medics put them in the bunker or something i don't know interesting sending them over here into the mineral line right now was not expecting that a few more marines are going to go down here he needs to retreat there's the medics finally coming out here he did lose quite a few of his marines though and we'll start to push out on the map a little bit. There is the Lurker upgrade. Where is the tech there? Lurker tech on the way here. We do not have the hive yet. We just saw the scan down here. You can see that scan just saw that base. And he now knows exactly what's coming right now from Shine. Shine trying to open up this position one more time. He's done a pretty good job of reducing the marine medic count. But he's had to produce a lot more mutas than he would have liked. That dive here was pretty crazy by shine just hold positioning on top of all of the marines they got way more damage than they should have and this is the point in the game when you're actually feeling a little bit worried as the zerg player you're not quite sure if you can hold off this marine medic group and look at this immediately gonna throw down some sunken colonies right as i say that he's about to get lurker finish and lurkers will be on the way here but he needs to buy a little bit of time Diving in once again, trying to deal a little damage over here, but not getting too, too much. Maybe picking off a turret or two, something like that. And we've got tank and vessel popping out here soon. I'm surprised to see him going tank right now. Oh, coming in from behind here, going to pick away at the Marines at the back of the pack. Feeling a little damage there. These mutas are getting quite low. Mutas here on the left-hand side, those were the low HP mutas that were pulled out of the pack, so they really don't have much oomph to them anymore they can only be thrown in as kind of a last ditch effort here unless you give them some more time to heal up lurkers out on the map now two tank a third tank gonna pop out i think that the hive is actually quite late 
The hive seems pretty late. Maybe this tank push can work. Maybe this tank push can work here. We're going to get a vessel out pretty soon. And a third tank. And I think we just go here as scan. I think that's the plan right now. We do need to be ca very careful right now. This is the most important part of this move. He needs to move out without losing his tanks. And look at this. Shine actually going in on the base right now. I'd like to see uh, Scan just pull these away and go for the attack regardless. Looks like he will come across the map. No, he's not waiting for us. Oh, oh no. Oh my God, Scan. Bro. Where's the science vessel? Oh my gosh. The science vessel lagging behind here. I grabbed my head in sheer terror. Realizing what a mistake Shine or Scan was just about to make here. Shine hitting the lotto with that uh, with that lurker landmine there. Able to get a ton of kills. And now maybe he can come up here from behind. No. All right. Going to pull back the Marines right now. Oh, man. These Mutas could actually pick off quite a few of these tanks. He's going to get one. Could he get two? Not quite. Not quite getting two here yet. Irradiate is almost done. So... As he pushes forward here with the tanks, he's got to keep him alive. Oh my gosh, he's going to lose the tanks. Oh man, Sh Sh Scan having so many good ideas, having reasonable execution here. Is he going to be able to make the final push into this natural? He's trying so hard. He's losing so many of his Marines though. There we go. A, a radiate going down on these Mutas. The Lurkers coming up from behind though, and everything will be cleared. Oh man. It is... So tragic. This game from Scan here. He was so close, guys. He was so close. He almost made it through, but he just didn't wait for his vessel. He didn't wait for his vessel, man. He knew that he needed the vessel to be able to defend, to keep... Oh my god, is he actually going to kill this lurker? Has 10 HP left. That's crazy. So you're going to go for another attack here. Doesn't have any medics with this, though. Where are the medics, man? We don't have even one medic with this? That is crazy talk. Act absolutely crazy. He's got to target that. He does get it. Okay, maybe he can get in here. Maybe he can go kill the drones. Go for the drones. Okay, he's going to go after the drones. Looks like pulling away the science vessel right now. Just going to send that back home. It's a good idea. Last couple of medics are going to go down. The Marines here... Maybe gun down a couple more. No, just two more workers there. That is it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a crazy game we've had already here. This is a banger of a ZVT. I don't know where it's going to go from here. I think that Scan's done some reasonable damage. He really needed to get through here, though. And he lost his entire army. So now he's really lost a lot of the map control. I got to sneeze. Sorry about that, guys. He's lost a lot of his map control, and he's trying to sneak a bunch of SCVs up to the top right. If he starts to build factories up here and get really cheeky, maybe he can win this in a long game. I don't know. It's going to be tough. We've got Marines. We've got uh, Vultures coming out now. He is going to switch into mech. There is a uh, armory here. He's almost completed that plus one. So, he, you know, he's got some ideas here. He's going to switch it up. Um, This is pretty good. This is pretty good against what uh, we see from Shine, right? Shine is trying to go into, like, a big Hydralisk play. That's going to be shut down really, really hard by full-on mech play. Mech will just absolutely dominate this if he manages to get it online quickly enough we're gonna have to pull back here vessels are getting plagued that's unfortunate vessels getting plagued here really does suck he tries to run forward to kill this defiler but not able to get it that is painful vultures gonna be coming over here maybe he can slip along the side here with these five vultures he can get a lot done a lot of kills will come through if he just jumps on top of these drone line. This drone line here. I think that's what we're about to see. Laying down some mines? No. Not going to do that. Instead, probably lay mines over here. Lay mines over here. Maybe come forward and pick off this defiler. That's a really easy 
snipe with the uh the vultures he does need to lay a lot of mines in between his base and shine's base because shine is starting to grow once again he's got a pretty good count of drones but wow look at shine uh, look at <laughs> i keep mixing up their names look at scan 71 scvs man he's building more ccs everywhere he's got mines all over the place he could run forward and like snipe a defiler here I mean, things are, things are looking up for him right now. He's even, you know, floating buildings all over the place. Oh, picks off a drone, stopping that from landing. He could go for the, the defiler here. Not gonna go for it. Does get plagued, will have to back away. I mean, he missed an opportunity to maybe dive in here. This is what I see a lot of Terran players do when they switch to mech. They throw out all their mines and then they just dive in after your drones. And I found like the, the best number of sunken to have is three. You want to have three and you want to have them close as possible to the hatchery. So they can't find a spot where they can just sit and shoot your drones and the, the sunkins can't really attack. But one sunken does not deter a bunch of vultures at all. They'll just fly right in and shoot down all your uh, drones really, really quick. But, you know, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this, not too bad for, uh, for for Scan right now. Scan is looking pretty darn good here. He just needs to close off this path right now. Okay, he's gonna get the Irradiate. Oh, no, Irradiate the Defiler. What are we doing? Wait a second, what are we doing? We're gonna let the Defiler live? That seems like a mistake. There we go, now he does get that Defiler. Oh God, the Plague though. Wow, I think you send your Plagued Army up here and just make make bunkers or something. Don't even bother healing those guys up. They're gonna be useless from now on. I guess they can be used to defend against like a mutilus transition, but I mean, just fill up some bunkers with these guys. They're, they're tapped out, man. All these medics are gonna be out of energy here. That is a shame. Now, what do we, oh, a drop. A drop gonna come in here. This is smart. This is some tactical play right now by shine who has realized that wow you're really spreading out far you're taking a lot of bases aren't you you're really getting into a long late game macro game i'm just gonna try and drop you and get in on in on top of your factories here let's see if we can make that happen drops out his defiler here does get quite a few of his units out of these overlords looks like all of them do manage to get out radiate immediately on the Defiler though, we should have an irradiate. Yeah, there is one on this lurker. So, oh, he's going after the armory. The armory gets picked off without plus two completing. That's a big pickoff. That is a really good pickoff right now. And he can go under the dark swarm with the tanks. Oh my gosh, getting under the dark swarm with the tanks is hilarious. It's like all these uh, hydras are just gonna get wrecked. Does kill off an extra tank with that uh, egg there, but. Pretty decent defense overall by Scan. Scan managing to hang on here. There is starting to be a flow of Zerg units though out onto the map here, and he's managed to secure at least this base for now, which will allow him to produce a lot more Hydras and Lings to kind of flood the map. We'll see how much progress he can make with this, but I think that we've still got Scan in a pretty winning position here. He's gonna be able to bring, uh, bring all of these at uh, science vessels back up to full HP. He's got tanks on this high. He needs more tanks up here. What are we doing? We need like six, seven tanks up on this high ground. Um, that is for sure. You don't want to be broken by just a small group of Ling Hydra. That would be uh, very frustrating. Put all the tanks up here for sure. All right, he's going to spread them out a little bit more. Maybe that's better. I have a lot of mines out here. It's looking like a... Uh, TVP army here, although is missing some anti-air. We don't have any Goliaths right here. That is a lot of uh, That is a lot of tanks a lot of Marines as well. They're gonna be pushing forward helping to deal with this attack We've got a lurker drop heading over towards the 12 o'clock. Maybe that can get a lot of damage Dark swarm plague over here in the main looks like just dropping off maybe a couple of units and a Defiler this is a sick play here by Shine gonna get rid of some of this mining, but we still got almost 70 SCVs, man. And I mean, th this base really don't, does not matter too much. This base completely undefended right now. Actually, pushing over here would be really, really strong. 
Still no plus two. Where's the plus two, man? We're missing out on plus two. We're building another science facility right now. What happened to our other science facility? Was it flying? I guess he floated it out and it ended up dying. That's a little bit of a shame. Ooh, losing a lot of Scourge here. Painful stuff since, you know, Shine has been on just the bare minimum number of gas. Just three gas for a long time. Oh my God, there could be a huge plague here. Oh, brutal. Scan, what are you doing, my friend? How come we're not sieged up? Why are we walking in the middle of the map and just getting plagued here? This is criminal. How much that uh, Shine is getting away with here. The fact that he was still able to, uh, to win that fight. He should not have been able to at all by any means. I think we're going to have a drop over here. Maybe it was a lurker. It's like we had a missed lurker drop over here. We might have to picture and picture that. If I can remember later. The supply is crazy. 177. There's no way that Scan should be losing this game from here. He has just a massive army right now to work with. He's going to be putting so many tanks out on the field. It is craziness. But there's still this uh, there's still this possibility that maybe he messes up. Like he's done already a few times in this game. And you know puts himself in a situation where Shine can make a comeback. He's got this third, fourth gas online. He might be able to get this gas online. We're already depleted in the main and natural. So he actually needs another gas here. He's on two gas right now. Like two and a half gas. So Shine, Shine really needs this gas in the bottom right hand corner. This is a nice position here from Scan. He's going to be sieging up on the low ground. It's very difficult to dislodge a Terran player who's managed to find a position like this. Scan going to give it, or Shine going to give it his best go though. Coming down with some vultures towards that bottom right hand corner gonna shut down that base before it even has a chance to get off the ground gonna be dropping some lings on top of the tanks right now this is really cost efficient here for shine he needs to get super cost efficient right here d matrix is really good at countering that stuff but hydras are gonna run down start to pick these off we've got scourge flying through gonna connect at least on one of the vessels but gg is called Shine taps out. Wow. What a wild game there. You know, I thought that things were going to really fall apart for... Scan when he lost that army at the natural. When he did that push and it didn't work. When he got caught by the lurker landmine. Things were looking really brutal for him. But this is actually a play I've seen a lot recently. Going for the four racks into factory. It's made a comeback on the ladder and in the pro gamers arsenal. It seems to be strong. It's very strong if you can get a base in the top right hand corner. Like if you can get another main base. You know, he's doing all this pressure and he puts a CC up here and it doesn't get scouted. Puts a couple of factories up here. And you get your plus one on the way. A plus one attack it becomes very good it becomes very very good because you just can't get up here as the zerg player it is so hard to break a bunch of turrets and tanks sitting on this high ground this little plateau here right above the ramp it is so difficult to dislodge that uh you can turn this into a really big mech game pretty easily so you know shine he fought pretty hard there. Maybe his ideas were a little bit dated. Like it didn't seem like he was expanding fast enough. It didn't seem like he was just growing like crazy. Maybe he didn't realize exactly what was happening here. From scan, like when the factories start to go down and the transition begins, you have to just expand like crazy. You got to take this, take that, grab this base, start grabbing this base, just just take as much of the map as possible and start sucking up a huge amount of income so that you can really overwhelm these tanks. You got to go into Queens or something else. But I mean, he tried to use drop here. He tried to get into the main and like clean out the main. 
that didn't really work out too well. That kind of slowed him down. Going for that attack here into the top left main really did slow down Shine. And his growth during that phase was not the most impressive. We'll see if he can bring it back here in game number two. Let's jump right in. Okay, once again, we've got the purple Zerg here. Shine in the top right and Teal Terran in the bottom left. That is Scan. Kind of like the white Terran actually. Kind of digging the white Terran last game. It looks, they kind of look like stormtroopers, the Marines do, which is pretty cool. Um, definitely acting like stormtroopers when they're firing under Dark Swarm, just missing every single shot. Or, uh, Getting plagued with the white armor is pretty nice visually. Aesthetically pleasing is what we'll call it. But Teal's good too. Teal Terran. It rhymes. It rolls off the tongue. Purple Zerg. Never a bad choice either. I'm a fan of the purple as well. Magenta. Big fan of that. You don't get to choose your colors on ladder, unfortunately. But a lot of players actually fail to choose their colors when they play uh, tournaments. Which I never really understood. Like, choose your damn colors, man. Like, make a color your own. It's a little bit unfortunate when they just randomly let their color be whatever. And it ends up being, like, two really similar colors. It's very annoying. You have to go to, uh, you know, shift tab in order to change the color. And if, it, if they played on melee, then they're both yellow. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. But... Um, <clears throat> yeah, just choose your own color, man. Just do it. If you're going to be a professional player, make it your own. You, you be the, the white Terran or the teal Terran forever. Now, this is interesting. What are we going to have here from... Okay, actually, I thought this was going to be a third base on location. Or a, a, a quick third hatchery before gas, but no. It's not going to... We did drop the gas in uh, pool here at the same time, basically. And we're going to get into a pretty normal game. I thought, because I've actually played this map quite a bit, and I messed around with it, um, three base, uh, a lot. And I find it pretty good. I find it pretty darn good to take the third base here. <clears throat> in this in this position, you know, you get your natural. You put your third up here on location. You put sunkins here, and sunkins there, and you get into a really quick three base uh, Muta with three gas and then you can transition into a Hydra Lurker uh, Defiler game a little bit later. Ooh, that's a shame Losing the first drone like that. Nobody likes to see that Every Zerg player in the in the world has uh, felt that pain before You're out there scouting you get the last scout and they've already got Marines out standing in the front <clears throat> Just waiting for your drone. That's a pain. He doesn't get to see the wall here either. Kind of a fancy wall. I don't really know what this is all about. There's a hole right there. Maybe, I don't know if that's intentional. Maybe? I guess so. You can't actually close this off. Usually people will leave a hole above the the uh, barracks. You know, put these two closer together. And that way you can just lift and move the barracks closer. Um, and make the wall like totally walled in. But... Seems like Scan more happy with this one. For whatever reason, I'm not really uh, not really sure about that. Maybe he wants to put a bunker there later or something. I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to roll with it. We've got gas online. We're going here right for an academy. And I think he's going to put an eBay or something. What are we going to do? What is the plan here? What is the plan, Scan? We're moving out with our Marines. And it's a pretty good number of links. It's not enough to take on this... Uh, large of a force, but you can't really push across the map any further here as scan with these six Marines because You know that there could be more links on the way and he's even gonna build a sunken colony relenting here He decides to build that he does cancel it though So canceling the sunken colony He will be able to back off here and uh, grab an extractor instead He's forced the Marines back sufficiently We don't want to throw away our uh, one barracks timing here second barracks on the way now. Maybe we'll go to like four or five barracks right now as the uh, Stim research comes under on the way 
going to grab our first medic. I don't think we're going to be able to hit a regular timing here, like a two racks timing. Obviously, there's no second racks. He's been pumping nonstop with this barracks, but we're getting dangerously close to muta timing. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to move out here. We're just going to have to be pretty careful as scan. Third base over here. Going to be dropped by Old Shine. Engineering Bay right on time. Looks like we've got a scan as well. Scans the main. He sees the eggs. He sees the spire. Everything as normal here for Shine. So he knows exactly the timing when these will arrive. He needs to start these turrets now, I tell you. These turrets need to be started. What's going on with this turret? There it is. Okay. He will start that turret. Uh, this is probably the first spot that Shine is going to go. So you really need that turret started here. Um, you might be a little disappointed if that, you know, isn't uh, ready in time. Going to head up onto the high ground here. Looks like it will just barely finish in time. And he'll slowly start to add on the turrets here as things start to ramp up a little bit. Nice positioning on that turret. Can't get an angle on the, e uh, the eBay here. Marines are going to come up. They don't have that range just yet, but there's not very many mutas either. So, you know, it's not going to be able to push this too far. That barracks at 99.99% barely not going to complete. That is a little bit annoying, but it should be fine for Scan as he gets his range out here and this starts to pump up this Marine production. We're going to see a big swell of units from him, and he will be able to push out eventually to start to claim some area on the map here to maybe put that pressure on Shine, who's taken this pretty quick third base. Uh, and pretty open third base, I'll say, as well. Now diving in on top of all of this. We've only got just the seven mutas here right now, but he's managing to kill off a lot of... Oh, actually eight mutas, excuse me. I don't know how I control clicked that and I didn't get all the mutas in the stack, but we're going to go ahead and meet up with the rest of our muta buddies now. And almost at that 11 count. There's that 11 count. We've got one muta very low. He's not going to pull that out. He wants the full 11 here going in to start this next round of harassment. Another turret going to come up here. Marines were thinking about heading out on the map, it seems, but now they're going to be brought back to help to defend. We've got to push these mutas out of our base and start to take some area on the map. I think it's time to move out here as scan. You should have the factory on the way. There it is. Good, well-timed factory here. Hydroden is coming down over at the third base. Queen's Nest at the natural. And finally, scan is feeling confident enough to start to move out here, but Look at this. Shine not giving him a moment's peace here. He's going to dive right onto the natural and kill these turrets. Turrets are going down on mass. And now Shine sees that the Marines are on the move. So he's going to start to dog them. He's going to start to pick off Marines at the back of the pack. Exactly as you should. And still has a good number. He's still got 10 meters in this stack. So really getting a lot of damage right now. And Scan truly on the back foot at the moment he really needs to find ways to get his economy back online while keeping this marine medic ball alive out on the field that's a good trade there getting quite a bit of damage onto some of these amitas without taking much himself managing to pick one or two off there's quite a few badly damaged amitas here in this stack we'll see if he can pick any of them off Maybe he can get up next to the wall here or something. Looks like Shine, no, he's found the perfect spot right now. And he's able to just constantly pick away at this Medic Marine and lowering its number by quite a decent amount. He's even going to pick off an Overlord here. Unfortunately for Shine, he was not fully... Oh my gosh. All right, we'll have to picture and picture that. It looks like a lot of uh, drones just went down here. I didn't even see that moving across the map. My bad, guys. I'm worried about this Marine Medic Ball. I guess we had like two or three Marines, maybe four Marines head up to the top right here and get a bunch of kills. The drones ended up having to fight in that battle and 
moves like that are not the type of thing that you expect as a Zerg player. It's becoming more and more popular now. So you do have to kind of watch out for it. But when you're battling, you're, you're so focused on doing everything you need to do back at home, getting your uh, upgrades going and fighting the Marine Medic Ball as best that you can. You're not really expecting suddenly three Marines to run into your third base, but here we go. Lurker's running up now. Lings and Muta's jumping on top of all of this. He managed to pick off one Lurker and badly damage another, but he barely has anything left back at home, and there's no turrets here in the natural. I think that maybe Scan's going to be out of this. I mean, he does have one Valkyrie. The one Valkyrie might be the saving grace here, but he's losing so many SCVs. Really making up for all those earlier losses over at the third. Really nice um, patrol command there. Doing so much damage to these. Oh my god. This guy got two kills on his own. Or this lady here. The Valkyrie lady. Dealing a ton of damage to those mutas. And really holding on to this game. Like keeping him alive in this game. Keeping Scan in this one man. Siege mode on the way here, but it's not quite done just yet. And the lurkers are burrowed in the front. The defiler is on the way. Scan is in a really bad spot here. Despite getting that counter damage with the uh, marine run by over here to the third. This is a non-stop push coming here from Shine. And he's going to get the tank. Oh my god, no. He keeps the tank alive. That's huge. I mean, the tank alive right now is everything. He needs that tank. He needs actually multiple tanks here. And he needs to push out and make some space for himself. He is going to push forward here. But there's the Defiler right there. They're already here. The Defiler's going to arrive so quickly. Looks like the Valkyries are going to save themselves from those Scourge. Managing to pick those off just barely in time. But he sees the... Uh, consume and he knows that his time is limited here. He will have to back off targeting down a lurker as quickly as he can and backing away. It was a pretty good attempt there, but I think that scan will not be able to escape from this position. Tanks are moving up uh, northward here and nothing is in the production tab right now for scan. He just doesn't have any hope right here. He's going to siege up a tank on the high ground. One last tank for that defense. He's going to try to come around this army to maybe get a position where he can cut off some reinforcements but it is a long shot here right now as the lurkers run into the natural he's gonna have to pull everything away maybe up into the main base now to try and keep himself alive here he needs a scan to maybe deal some damage to this lurker here but no that tank is out of range he's gonna target down the defiler he gets one defiler that was a big big kill there but a ling itself kills off one of the tanks the tank is actually gonna die to the ling oh my god it almost did really really close here and looks like this army gets picked off valkyrie's still holding their own somehow staying alive here that is crazy to me that those are still alive right now the so many scourge have been sent after these they still managed to keep them somehow in this game and dealing with these uh, mutas here. He's pushing everything back. There's still some lurkers at the front. He hasn't been able to deal, deal any counter damage. But we don't have that many drones really for uh, Shine. He doesn't have a, an evolution chamber. He's got no upgrades. He's really all in right now. He's got to push forward and try to win right here right now. I wish we would have had a target fire on that defiler right there. If the defiler gets targeted by the tanks... You can, you'll see how quickly it just explodes and how quickly he can retake these positions. But he will have to back away for now. Tank going to be just getting out of range here. He really needs to repair that. Repair the tank. Oh my god, he lost a tank for free. No, that tank's so unfortunate here. Move the tank over to the edge. We have to get in range of this defiler. This one defiler is everything right now. If we can just snipe that defiler as it moves forward, we can win this game. It's so close. Another Dark Swarm going to go down here. More SCVs are falling. The command center is getting low. Scan, I, I'm i afraid that he's actually given up in this game. That he's just not doing anything anymore. He's not trying to stop this inevitable push here from Shine. And he's 
I mean, he's got opportunities. All he needs to do is snipe this. If he was a little close to the edge, he could absolutely hit this. There's nothing that can reveal his tanks on the high ground to the lurker, but he's gonna lose everything. He's got to lift off at least, lift off, snipe the defiler for the love of God. What are we doing? The last of the tanks are gonna end up going down here. We're just about out of money now. We've got no science vessel, no irradiate here. It's just tanks trying to hold on. A drop in the third base did a lot of damage, but he actually needs to lift and go to the main. Oh my gosh, there are Scourge there, ready to pick that off. The Valkyries are gonna start to deal a lot of damage, but Scourge come in and pick off two of them. Two Scourge, two of the best Valkyries do go down, but he will be able to kill these, uh, these overlords regardless. This is a huge moment right now for Scan. Can he win this game? Oh my God. We are supply blocked here. Shine falling apart right now. He's got almost nothing left. He's still got quite a bit of money to work with, but I don't know if he can break the main base. Whereas Scan, I guess he's gonna lose all of these um, Marines. Eventually the Marines will go down, but he killed even more drones and he forced Shine onto one base himself. Now with some scans coming down. He can start a big away at this. How has he not built a science facility? It is crazy. We're on one scanner. We've got one scanner right now. It's insane. Actually insane. He's going to fly around the map. Actually, there's two Scourge here. So he will just unload outside of his main. He's got to get in between the rallies here. Try to stop things from getting out of control. So try to stop more links from getting down here to reinforce this position. The food of the uh, of the uh, defiler needs to be cut off. What is this game, guys? This is insanity. Another dark storm here at the natural. He needs to move over. He got to move over here and start sniping some of these. Get some shots off. Do something. We're just sitting here with all of our tanks sieged. Do we have any more tanks on the way? No, we don't have anything on the way right now. I think he's going to try and transport some units out here. Try to get out on the map. And, uh, you know, get a sneaky base over here. But I think a Muta is going to come around and spot that. He's moving over towards this base. Some spore, uh, some creep colonies are coming down. We've only got one Lurker in the natural. Defilers are making their way back. Lurkers are making their way back. And, oh man, Scan let it happen. He let the Defilers and the Lurkers make their way all the way back home. Are you kidding me? We've got Carapace on the way now. That is ridiculous. No energy, though, on these, these things. I think he's going to consume his Muta. I think he consumes Muta here. Just eat the Muta and go for it. He's going to drop. We're dropping everything out. Oh my god, this is insane. This is so crazy, guys. What happened to the second dropship? Did the second dropship ship get sniped? I think it might have. I think it might have been sniped here. Man, I'm going to have to go back and picture and picture a lot of different things. I am so sorry. This game has been absolutely wild. And I'm sure I've missed a lot. So we're going to go back and check out everything. Make sure we didn't miss anything in this game. Two more Valkyries on the map right now. He gets a plague. A plague on the Marines. This is so annoying. We actually need to start utilizing like move command here. You click all of your uh, medics and move command them onto one Marine and then they won't heal. You have to do that so that they won't, uh, they won't waste their energy uh, on these uh, plagued units. Now finally he can uh, heal these back up, but here comes the Defiler. It's got enough energy for another plague. I think we're going to see another big plague here. Oh, another big plague, but he loses the Defiler. That's not a bad trade. Not a horrible trade here. We can stand to let that happen right now. As long as we target down the the, the, the Lurkers here, we got to get the target on the Lurker. We have plus one, plus one, so the Marines can actually fight pretty well, but we're forgetting about our units. No. Scan losing a bunch of his units here. In the most tentative position possible. How can we let this happen? Looks like Lurker's gonna make their way down here, but we've got two tanks. We've got the Marines. He is gonna be able to hold on here. 
Scan pushes everything back and it, right at that moment. Finally, Shine realized the position that he's in is not as great as he thought. He's going to have to back up, get Defiler and Lurker over to this base and try to shut that down before we see the, the comeback here. The comeback of Scan. Scan just pulling through this game like a champion. Going to take his third big plague once again. His third ad is natural, which he already mined for a very long time. It's a crazy, crazy game. Looking like he's losing some Marines here. The Plague Hydra is so good in these circumstances. It is amazing. Marine med Medic is fantastic in these low money, low number situations, but Plague is just so damn good. Plague Hydra is crazy, crazy powerful. And I don't know, I think Scan might just be out of this one, man. He's got to come out here and like... How can he stop this? I don't think he can. I think that this is just over. Running up with the Dark Swarm. Dropping the Lurker on top of everything. The Defiler getting the premium spells here. He's going to have to run with the SCVs. I did not think of this, actually. Now that you mention it. I never thought that the SCVs would be sent out this direction. Maybe he can do something with that. <laughs> Maybe he can send these back around. Well, these ones probably not. They're going to get end up getting picked off. I don't know where the rest of them are going. He's going to bring them around, I think, to the natural and try to mine from there. He knows that Shine must be low on minerals by this point. It's really a shame that he didn't just bring them around immediately so he could bring them back and start to mine here. But it is what it is. He's going to try and hold his natural. This is so important. He doesn't have the tank in range to actually hit the defiler here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We can't make it back home. We can't get back home. We're going to have to pick up. We're going to pick up our SCVs and drop them back over here with our Defiler, or with our uh, dropship. He's going to land a command center over here, try to mine a little bit of money over in this location. We finally got a vessel, the 22-minute vessel, guys. There it is. This is a huge moment for, Sh for, for Scan here. Can he hold on? Oh, he's going to lose all his Marines. Not paying attention. Once again, GG is called... Finally, he taps out. What an incredible game. Wow, that... I am out of breath right now, guys. It does not happen often, but... I am absolutely out of breath here. These two players putting up a heck of a series. Really enjoyed this. these two games here. That's all I have for you today, guys. But this was really fantastic. Again, I'm sorry I missed some of this stuff. Like... The run by with the Marines, the drops and stuff. I was dead focused on that fight here. And this fight into this natural was crazy. It's so intense when the Defilers are just about there on both sides. You're just trying to get these stupid units to consume and get the spells that they need in the right place at the right time, right when they need it. And of course, the tanks are trying to, to target the right units. The spells need to come out from the uh, vessels. You need to be splitting and spreading your marines perfectly. There's so many moving pieces. And watching these two players has been an absolute pleasure. They put together a fantastic game for us. And I've really, really enjoyed it. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this. Your daily dose of Brood War. And I'll see you tomorrow.